Let me go to the money question, besides how you got this junket. The money question is, will the new leadership be able to speak directly to Germany? Yeah, I mean, I think that, look, they say they're going to. I mean, Alexis Tsipras talked about how he was going to go to Germany and not wear a tie when he met uh, Angela Merkel. He's heavy on symbolism. And I think, you know, you look at the choice of coalition partners today. He's partnering with the independent Greeks, a right wing party whose only common ground is that they are opposed to the bailout. So he's insisting that, you know, he is tying himself to this anti bailout line. And, um, you know, it's going to be a fascinating right. negotiation. Joe, I look at the defeat of the establishment personified by Mr. Papandreou from years ago. Is the establishment defeated and over, or can they be like Richard Nixon and come back in two, three, four years? Look, I think it, it's, it's pretty amazing how far the establishment in Greece has been wiped out. Um, I mean, you look like Pasok used to be like the dominant party in Greece, and now it's nothing. Look, it, you can it always come back. New democracy is still a pretty significant party. But just the collapse of the establishment, the establishment in Greece and really across Europe, that's a big story. Establishment parties everywhere are seeing their popularity fade. Uh, and yeah, and Joe, to that point, I heard last night people shouting at the rally, Syriza Podemos making the connection between what's going on in Spain and the anti-austerity movement there and what is happening with the rise of Syriza in Greece. Does this victory sort of light a match against anti for anti-austerity? Austerity parties across the continent? Yeah, I think that's really the huge story right now in Europe. The fact that there is this sort of pan European leftist movement. I mean, Podemos is the, the head of Podemos, Iglesias, came and campaigned with Tsipras. I saw lots of signs that had Syriza and Podemos together. So, yeah, this is like the big story. And I think obviously a lot of people on the European left are hoping that Greece is just the beginning of a bigger story.